Let's start clapping right now, everybody. Let's start clapping right now for Luke Severide, everybody. Luke Severide. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are we doing? Good. I'm doing well as well. Thank you for asking. My mom says the N-word a lot, too, and it's not nearly as cute. <laughs> All right, good. You guys have ha, you got some PBs left in you. Good. This has been up here the whole time, and we have a video in the back, and I can't read it, and I've just been like, oh, I can't wait to read. Is the person whose this is? I haven't read it yet. Are you willing to interact? We already did that one. Oh, okay, guess who didn't pay attention then? All right. Well, I wanted to read it, though. Okay, a roommate moved out and left the room. Trash owes us $1,000 and blocked us. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Turn him down. I, uh, for sure, $1,000 is not, that's not, <laughs> that's not chump change. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be change for that chump, though, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Are we violent in Portland? Is that what we do? <laughs> that was a high-pitched woo, I like that. The uh, Portland dame's like, I will fucking punch you! <laughs> it might not hurt, but it'll, <laughs> it'll happen. <laughs> Get ready to get a stern talking to. I'm gonna find some of my male friends that normally ask to help me move, but instead I'm gonna ask them to just kind of be around you and passive aggressively and passive aggressively intimidate you into paying me properly. Sorry, I'm that dude. I don't know. Yeah, you need to track them down. They blocked you, but you have, you must have like friends similar. I had a really shitty roommate situation right before COVID hit. I was like covering his rent for like a like a couple months because I'm a good friend and he like fucked up his hand or something. I was like, I'll take care of that. And then uh, he wasn't paying me and he wasn't cleaning up like his kitty litter. And I don't have a lot of rules, but if the first thing I smell when I walk into my home is cat shipped, <laughs> clean up your fucking poop, brah. <laughs> we had a confrontation. I was like, hey man, I'm about to go on the road for like a month and a half. You need to you need to do something, figure it out, I don't know. And he's getting all huffy and puffy, and I'm getting all huffy and puffy. And then, in the moment, I yelled in his face. I was like, I am going to remove myself from the situation. Because <laughs> I've been going to therapy for like two weeks, and I was like, we figured it out, <laughs> dude. I stopped going to therapy because I, I beat my therapist. <laughs> you ever done that? Where you're like, I know how to lie to you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Okay, I feel like do you have a gun? That helps. <laughs> Sorry, I do look like a guy who's like, Second Amendment's the only one that matters, right? <laughs> I mean, number one, the First Amendment's a, a close second, but <laughs> if you have the Second Amendment, you don't need to worry about the First. You're just like, fucking what? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say what I wanna say. <laughs> I don't own a gun, by the way. I would have used it by now. <laughs> On others, on myself, who knows? <laughs> That's why we don't have a gun! <laughs> Smart. Using my gray matter while I keep it where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Is that too dark for... I live in Washington. We have the exact same amount of depression. Don't, don't pull back because I said something that resonates with you on some level. Okay, honestly, I think the worst part about suicide, by far, is is that you don't even get to enjoy it. Like, like, that's the best part of a nap, is when you're like, oh shit, I'm napping. That's the best. Problem solved. All right, let me get to the next one. My crush randomly texts me, you're so hot, and then stops responding for messages. You deserve better. That sucks. That's a little tease. That's like, mm, maybe I'll make it come, and they're like, ah. <laughs> I just want to keep you around, engaged with me, because I'm lonely on some level. That's what that is. Fuck that. All right, I don't really have anything else out of that. I kind of blew my load early on that first one. <laughs> but that is like really. That's not. That's not. That's not chill. There's no jokes around this. You deserve better. I don't even know you. You might be a piece of shit, but even if. <laughs> That's the thing, I'm just pfft, monster could could have written that. It's true. Some of you could all be garbage people. I don't know. You guys would be like, I'm gonna lie and make everyone think I'm a good person that deserves love, and I'm like, no, you don't. 
Okay, this got weird. Uh, no, I think you should just... Uh, <laughs> the next time they say that, just go fucking prove it. Fucking put, put my money where your mouth is. Oh, you guys don't call your genitals money? Interesting. I call it $1,000 and my roommate won't give it back. Oh, he did pay me back, but his stepmom did. <laughs> yeah, that's a bummer, dude. He was like all talking tough. I was like, dog, I just want my money. And then his stepmom's like, what's your memo? I was like, what the fuck are you doing here, Kathy? <laughs> Thank you for the $3,000. I appreciate it. All right, next one. My ex-wife thinks I work for the government and spy on her via 5G <laughs> Hell yeah to ex-wife! That sounds like the ideal relationship with this individual. That's a really long sentence to be like, someone who I used to be legally bound to is really into QAnon. <laughs> They swung far right, came back on the left, and then went far right again. They're just doing loop-to-loops, which is ironic because they think the world is flat. <laughs> I wish someone thought I was this good at anything. <laughs> like, you guys got a divorce, and that's, like, sad or whatever, but she believes in you. <laughs> Like, maybe not in a healthy way, but she thinks you got some gumption, and that's kind of tight. You should, you sh you sh you should start spying on her, like a little. Just like a, a teensy tiny bit. Just, I don't know, like, follow her at work, just find a couple, just take some grainy photos. Cause she's already got the deep end, just fucking push, find out. <laughs> How far can she go? I don't know. I'm not anywhere near your life, so let it rip. I would love to read a headline. The news is just so boring lately. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the next one. My dad found my large pink dildo while helping me move. We have never talked about it. <laughs> That's great. Because now, you always have something in your back pocket. Hopefully not literally. If at any point in time your dad is a little bit weird, you're like, well, you remember that one time? You saw what made me come. So, Comedy show. I'm sorry, you guys are against women having orgasms. Wow, rude. I don't want to get on my high horse, but I'm for women coming. That's, yeah. Where the fuck were you a minute ago? You guys just all imagine your own dad and saying that to him, and you're like, no, no. Well, that's fucking. I'm sorry. That's how you guys got here. Hopefully. Hopefully your mom had an orgasm on the night you were made. Otherwise, bummer. <laughs> boo, dad. <laughs> I mean, thanks, boo. Ooh, be better. Mom deserves more. <laughs> See, this is why, if you guys don't laugh the way I want to, I'm just gonna make it fucking worse. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I, I mean, like, I mean, not talking about it, that seems like the normal move. It'd be weird if he was just like, well, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, papa. <laughs> Ooh, question. Have you used it since? He didn't pick it up and move it. He's, it's weird if he's just like, Connie, I found you. I'm oh, sorry, let me get it off. It's clean. Your mother's like, sir. It was clean too, so that's good. My mother liked that. Okay, we're gonna move on, you guys. 
don't enjoy talking about parents fucking nearly as much as I do, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one. A cult leader hates me and I can't go back to the community. <laughs> I mean, it's good, like, cults are hard to get out of. Has anyone tried that? Just, like, really make the leader just be like, God damn. Brad is fucking annoying. Like, yeah, I know, we're gonna lead up to the mass suicide in two months, and we need as many able-bodied people as possible, but I think we could lose one beforehand. That asteroid could handle a slightly smaller load of humans on top of it. Are there still cults? I know there has to be. I, there's a lot of churches still, so that makes sense. Okay, poor friend. You're like, no, he, my mom's Christian. All right, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's the best way to get out of a cult. It's either that or you have to, uh, get shot by the DEA. That's... Those are the two options. And it feels easier to make one guy who's fucking everyone's wives not like you. All you need to do is go, Hey, can you not have sex with my wife? I love her. And he's like, Brad's a dick. Let's get him out of here. We don't need him in eternity. All right, you guys are pulling back on that one. Let's move on. Yeah. It's okay, you guys. We have plenty of time. I just wanted to do this. I love my morning poop ritual at home. But now I have to go to the office. Did you say boo or poo? <laughs> Alright. No one else is a child? Oh, I'm the only pothead here? Okay, poor Lena. Thank you, delayed. <laughs> Well, that's when you're like, here's the big stand, and then just a little bloop at the end. That's what... Okay, poop humor. Not you guys' cup of tea. They're a cup of coffee in the morning. That's why that happens. That's a bummer. I like, uh, I like, dropping, I like dropping loads at my home. And you gotta do it in the office. But that is also a chance to assert dominance. I've never worked in an office, obviously. Look at me, I'm not office material. At all. I'm not a cubicle man. Just like, <laughs> no, no, no. That's not who I am at all. Too fidgety. Can't sit for that long. I want to kick a thing. Uh, but I do think if I had to poop in an office, I would, I would make sure everyone knew. I don't even read. But I'm carrying the newspaper. Just kind of coming where people are walking like, I'm about to get educated on the world. And they're like, what are you, I'm going to poop. I'm going to poop out my butt and there's nothing you can do to stop me. That's a fun game, just to do. Just a regular human activity. Just announce it to your friends as you're leaving the room and then say, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm about to go get a glass of water and there's nothing you can do to stop me. And then shit your pants, okay. I reminded them they needed to poop. <laughs> Next slide. Good toilets here, by the way. I haven't sat on them yet, but, you know, night is young. My wife and my brother's girlfriend hate each other. All right, well, are you trying to make a really weird four-way? <laughs> then I think it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but that does suck. Uh, how close are you to your brother? Can I ask that? Wow, a lot of cowards tonight. Uh, I feel like all the comedians have done a fairly good job of just being like, this is a safe space, we're just being silly, and you guys are like, secrets. I texted, that's enough. You share all your thoughts, figure it out, fuck face. Yeah, I mean, that is a bummer, if you're close with your brother, but also like, I like that you're the one texting this in, because you're like, my wife and my brother's girlfriend, <laughs> they hate each other, so we know that you're going to win, as long as your wife doesn't think you're spying on her too much. Okay, eh, it's not that big of a deal, but 
Maybe fist fight. Have you thought of that? <laughs> Just facilitate a quick little. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do the next one. Please. My next door neighbor is like if humans were spices, she'd be flour. <laughs> So she lives in Portland? Oh, I'm sorry! This is a fucking honky town, y'all. Just because you're self loathing honkies doesn't mean you're not honkies. It's mighty pale in here. I would feel really bad if they were like, she's actually Indian, it's just, she's very bland. <laughs> she's a very boring person. It's like, especially if they're like, like it's a bummer when someone's really boring, like, they, like deathly boring, but also very polite. They're like, hey, how are you doing? You're like, good. And they're like... <laughs> well, I just wanted you to know that I'm pleasant. Let me know if you need to borrow a cup of me to bake anything later. That's not a cum joke, that's a flower joke, okay? All right, I feel like I peaked early and you guys are just fucking. All right, let's do another one and maybe I can win you over. My dog is weird and kind of standoffish with strangers. That's a problem, it's an animal. It's surrounded by giants all of the time. I'm only not standoffish with some people because I am their size. And even some people that are smaller or bigger than me, I'm like, I don't know how I should. Now imagine if I had a leash on me and then a giant four times my size just around me who I feed off of their anxiety too. Like my dog's really skittish. Well, how the fuck are you every day? Anytime I see another dog, I pull it quick and then I go, people, I doesn't get along with people. Sounds like you don't get along with people. <laughs> also, this dog could be like a chihuahua, which I don't understand. We're, we're keeping them alive. <laughs> we're just like, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it, yappy and pissy. I like it, yappy, pissy. <laughs> so yappy, pissy, pups. <laughs> don't worry, it's, it's, uh, he's so sweet. Except for when he bites, he has needles in his mouth. <laughs> They weigh seven pounds. Cool, tight. That's fantastic. It's just standoffish. Yeah, fucking. Well, I'm <laughs> I don't like your dog. All right. You guys laughed at me abusing an animal. Good job. Uh, next one, please. What were you doing? <laughs> Besides living at home. <laughs> also, if you're not living at home, hey, bro. There's some boundaries. <laughs> Would you just go home to be like, mm, for old time's sake? Ah. <laughs> oh, none of you have gone home to the <laughs> to the house you grew up in and just fucking knock one out and be like, nah, it's different now. <laughs> We're older, wiser. <laughs> a lot more shame afterwards, by the way. <laughs> I'll grow this. I did too. I did too. Probably never talk about it again, though. That's for sure. Oh, goddamn. That's thankfully that never happened. My dad walked in on me when I was having sex with my girlfriend, but no one's ever walked in on me while I was masturbating. I've walked in on some people while I was masturbating, but that's. <laughs> Dumb joke. <laughs> joke. I'm kidding. I'm not lying. Ah. <laughs> Assert dominance. You know, if I worked in an office, <laughs> just pop out of the cougar ball. I gotta take a shit. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna end it there. You guys, we're a lot of fun.